this, Steve, or shall I? You should take this one. Okay, I'll tell you. It started, there's a little bit of history, and there's a reason we do this. We started out selling and installing. We started out on that very first job that you held up. Yeah. Putting the solar panels on the house, looking around, finding the formula. How much do you sell? Where's the formula? Where's the equation? How do you quote this stuff? Who do you buy it from? And thinking we were relatively, you know, savvy people, we thought we did a pretty good job of pulling that information together. But what we realized is not only did we not know about a roadmap on how to get from point A to point B and selling and installing and making that customer happy with rebates and all kinds of paperwork that go with it, there was no roadmap at all. The roadmap absolutely did not exist because in this two to three year period where solar has become so hot, companies have sprung up, everybody's out there selling, no one stopped to create a roadmap that says, this is how you do it. These are the best practices. These are the best products. This is the best of breed. And what we did is we stopped at that point. We took it back a notch. We hibernated for a year or two, put it all together in a roadmap, put a bow on it, and now that is Ambassador Energy. And we roll that out to other people who were just like us, wanting to get into a new business. And they now don't have the big knot on their head like we had from hitting our head against the wall. So we're taking those people and making them successful immediately. So in other words, you're the, you're the guides for somebody who wants to get into this business. They come to you. You take them th through schooling, in essence. Right. You we're teach the them trainers, the nuts and bolts. Trainers, supporters, and then we become their, their distribution point and their continuous line of education. So we're their full-time staff for figuring out what's out there, what's around the corner, what's best, what's in stock, what are the best prices on this, wow. that, and the other. Wow. And all along, we're holding their hand, we're helping them in their very first installs. We're flying around and going and doing their first installs with them so they're not alone because that was a huge learning curve. So, in, and initially when they come on board and join our family, they go through a three-day intense training. And they are not not authorized ambassador energy agents until they complete that training. So what are the steps? What do they do? Steve? Well, the first thing is they would um, obviously display an interest in wanting it to get into renewable energies. A lot do of they the, have to have any kind of particular requirements? Or anything? No. no. We, we, it runs the gamut on who wants to get into this field. We have people that come from computer backgrounds, roofing backgrounds, uh, just people who have gone through. A lot of the colleges nowadays have degrees in renewable energy. So they come out of college and they go, what do I do with this paper? Right. People come out of product training, um, you'll, you'll find some vendors of specific products will have product training for their product. People will go to school and come out and go, I have a piece of paper that says I know how to install something, but I don't know what to do with this piece of paper. What's the next step? So those are the kind of people that come to us. We'll, we show them every step. We say, it's great that you know how to do this or this, but here's a road map for to, how to get to the, the big picture, which is consistently selling, del delivering quality product and following it up with service. So they, do they, like, enroll in your school, pay a tuition and come to school? Is, is it a, like there's that? There's a little skin in the game, and, and I, I constantly laugh at myself because we tried this out of the kindness of our hearts to... to train and support and distribute to the world of those interested in doing this. Right. And we found that if you don't at least have some skin in the game, the, the people, it's kind of like the free chair at the garage sale, it does not leave your property until you put a price tag of $5 on it and then all of a sudden everybody's fighting for it. Right. So we did put a price tag on it. There is an initial enrollment fee. It is absolutely minimal. And we as a company don't even make money on those people. They get, they get two seats at training for three days. We train them, we feed them for three days and they come out of it knowing how to go out and, and sell. And what we charge for being a part of our family is less than what most people charge just for training with the piece of paper. So we're, we're not only asking for a little skin in the game, giving them those three days, then we hold their hand, then we help them install, then we hold their hand some more, and then, we, and then hopefully they're out on their own and then, then they start turning into a selling machine and then we start to realize some revenue. So the model looks interesting from an outsider, but we've seen that that's the only way to make the model work. We don't want to be a franchise charging exorbitant fees up front right. and then letting, letting go and just going, here, open your business. We bring them in, and in those three days, we teach them uh, marketing, sales, um, worksheets, quoting. We make them bring their laptops. They have to do the quoting. They have to get it down to a science or we can't let them go. I wish I could hold them hostage until they've all passed the test, and initially they do pass the test and they go out and sell. Now, this is a picture that I'm holding up 
Uh, this is in the classroom, right? That is this a is classroom setting. That's very typical <coughs> of what we go through, and and you can see, you know, everybody is paying attention as much as they can. I mean, there are times when when it is really boring, but it, it's some of the boring stuff that makes them not successful if they don't have the training. So, it's so they really in three days. You can cover it all yep. in three days, huh? Yes, we used to do it in four, and we found that we can do it in three. A lot of these are professional people coming from, let's say they're currently running a roofing company, right. and they want to be in this business because they're watching other roofers or other people who are non-roofers getting on the roofs that they put on, drilling holes in the roofs that they know shouldn't be done by a non-roofer. So the roofers are extremely um, anxious to get into this business. So a lot of, even in that classroom picture, <coughs> a lot of those people come from the roofing industry and we try not to keep them out of their roofing field um, to teach them. So we found that three days is about as much of a nugget as we can give them. And then the support part of it kicks in. And from, from their uh, graduation until you know weeks or months later, we're continuing to support them and educate them. So it's so you have that continuing relationship, and they come to you to get the products. Is that is that do. the way it works? They do. We that's have, how you end up benefiting from. That's it. the only way we benefit, yeah. other than we're doing a good deed. <laughs> so I, yeah, I love your terms. People have skin in the game, and they come to you. Your headquarters is the mothership. You call it is it, the right? mothership. In, in in our office, when you walk in, there's a big conference room and a big glass fish bowl, and on it says, "Welcome to the mothership." Well, this is a fascinating story indeed. I'm sure that, you know, you're so captivating yourself. People just must love coming to this. And they learn. They do. All right. We We're going to sure. be back to explore this in more detail in just a moment. We'll be right back. We have been watching the operations of an organization which is doing its part to keep America strong. And we've been learning from its leaders about what they're doing to help move our country forward. This organization represents companies across our great nation that embody the spirit, dedication, know-how and can-do attitude which has made America the great nation it is today. And now let's present the Keeping America Strong Award. Now it's my honor to present this prestigious award to Kelly Smith and Steve Fulgham, the executives of Ambassador Energy of Murrieta, California for the outstanding work they are doing to help keep America strong. Kelly, let me hand this to you. It's a pleasure to give this to you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. And um, I guess this is a good opportunity for us to thank the people that um, kind of brung us to the dance, and that would include people that believed in us early on, um, our investors, our agencies that adopted us before we were approved. You know, now it's easy. It's easy to come on board now. We really want to thank those that started with us, and I want to thank you, Steve and everybody at the Ambassador family. Congratulations for earning the Keeping America Strong Award, which honors innovators and leaders like you, who are the heartbeat of America. For more information on this company, visit their website. You'll find it at, it's very simple, ambassadorenergy.com. I'm William Shatner. Thanks for watching.